Hi, my name is Mike, and in today's video I want to talk about how Christians should avoid bad language. Um, let me just start with Ephesians 4.29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear it. And Ephesians 5.4. Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Nowadays you see more and more people uh, are using swear word, cuss words, as part of their normal language. We need, as Christians, to avoid this. Don't let it become a habit to use swear words. Avoid it completely. Let your language be pure and holy, because we have to live our lives and try to follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. So avoid such things. And as we carry on reading at Colossians 3, 8 to 10, but now you must put away anger, wrath, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have to put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which has been renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Also, you see also nowadays people using God's name in vain. Um, in Exodus 20, verse 7, it says, You shall not take the name of your Lord, your God, in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Uh, even uh, movies and games and music is more and more swearing, swear words. We need to avoid these things. Um, James 1, 26, If anyone thinks he is religious, and does not bridle his tongue and deceives his heart. This person's religion is worthless. Also Titus 3, 2, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle and to show perfect curiosity towards all people. So we must be loving and kind to all, avoid swearing, avoid lying, all bad things. Like I said, we need to Practice now to be citizens of God's kingdom. Um, and finally, the last two scriptures, Matthew 15, 11. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a person. And finally, Matthew 12, 36. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account of every careless word they speak. So um, make sure that when we face God uh, on the day of judgment, he doesn't say to you, get away from me, you worker of lawlessness. So bridle your tongue and speak kindly and loving to one another. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. We're living in the last days. God bless you all. Bye-bye.